Okay, Jeremy here, um, rockcyber.com. I've got my Gitpod page. And what I want to do today is go over um, Docker files and Gitpod, the .gitpod.yml files. Uh, this is kind of how you get going with Gitpod on an advanced level. It's nicer if you can just on the screen here click on snapshots of other people's or these ones that are pre-set up. But if you want to set up yours, you need to look into these two things. So I'm going to open up both these um, uh, files because they both set up Cordova, but one's more using the the uh, the gitpod.yml uh, file and the other one is using the Docker file. And I'm also in a new window going to open this up just if you haven't seen Gitpod, uh, what it does. Pretty amazing. I've been using uh, Replit, uh, Glitch, uh, CodePen, um, Cloud9 for about five years. They're all similar types of things, but they all got some of, uh, issues of their own. Gitpod really pulls everything together. It works with GitHub. And so here are the two sites we're going to be working with. Um, this one's my Gitpod Cordova which mainly uses the, uh, this file. Uh, before I show you that, let's show you the Docker file because there's not a heck of a lot in the Docker file. There it's getting um, the Java uh, JDK um, or the Android. No, that's actually the Java one. Uh, so that's all that's doing. Um, nothing else is actually happening in this file. So let's go to the the Gitpod uh, UML, YML. Now the other file we're going to look at, this one, it's Gitpod, actually doesn't do that much. It's Gitpod YAML, loads a Docker file, um, sets a port, has a couple of tasks, just setting up some log files. The only thing I had to come here was this line setting up uh, the SDK manager, platform tools, platform tools 28.0.3 and platforms, uh, Android 28. There are a whole bunch of things I could have installed here. I just wanted to get proof that it was working. Um, so on this one, the uh, Docker one, most of the work is done in the Docker file. So here we have kind of a, a competition between these two things. The other Docker file basically only had that line in it. Um, so, what are Docker files? What are gitpod.yml files? Uh, basically, they make an image of a running computer. And they, they pretty much start with someone else's image. So, this one's actually starting with the latest gitpod full workspace, which is going to have tons of stuff on it. It's going to have uh, git, node, npm, everything pre installed. And so, what a Docker file does, this is the Docker file is it takes that, that image and adds to it. And you use root access and you add to it. So here I'm installing uh, Java. Now notice every line needs to end with that. Every line needs to start with that. And there can't be empty lines in a run command. In the environment command, they tend to be uh, single lines. These are setting up the Android SVK root, uh, the Android home, which I think is deprecated. And then the path, and that path is actually, oh, that one's not that long. So these are bracketed out. These are things I tried. Notice I tried the SDK manager, and, and it should work, but for some reason it's not working. It might be something to do with this as a Gitpod build instead of a regular and um, Docker build. You can go to Docker Hub, and uh, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, continuing on with the Docker file. Now, here's what we do with Gitpod. We were using user root, but we're going to switch over to user Gitpod. And now I'm going to make directories. I made a log directory because I was having issues. Um, made a bunch of directories. Touch, touch makes a, a file. So that file is already there, but it's blank. Wget, this gets the SDK tools. Those numbers will change. Hopefully that's up to date for, um, what are we, June 2019. This unzips it into this folder. Uh, this removes it because it removes the zip because it's already in that folder. This makes it write access. What I, I don't know if that's totally needed. Um, this home git pod has, we have full write access. Root obviously has write access. Uh, this is just my writing to my log file. 
And here we are setting up uh, Android root. That's interesting. Can I set that up over here? Uh, okay, well, I guess I set that up for root, and then I set it up for uh, GitHub. Uh, it seems to work. And um, here we go. Now I'm setting up NPN. This is kind of a fancy tab to set it up into that folder in, once again, the home Git pod. Roxetta QR code, and I'm installing QR code and Cordova. You could install Ionic here, um, and it would probably work pretty smooth, but you can install it when you've got the thing running. Um, then I've got user Gitpod again. I'm just finishing off my line that uh, my log file, I don't know if that's totally needed. And once again, finishing off the log file. Uh, you've got to switch back to user root, and that just cleans things up. So that's a typical Docker file. Uh, there are way more commands you can do with Docker files, but that, this is good enough. Now, over here, we have um, the gitpod yaml file. Uh, let's have a quick look at the Docker file gitpod yaml. Uh, it calls, calls the Docker file, then sets up a port. You don't have to set up port. You don't have to do any of these things. It actually is doing um, changing these bash files so they can be run. That means it can be run. As I said, I could, I could only do that on um, the, the, the YAML. Uh, and it also starts Apache. There's the command to start Apache. It waits for a port, and then it previews, opens up previews. So, this is the Gitpod YAML that's pretty much doing everything. So first of all, now the nice thing about this is this is in the workspace. So this is in the workspace, which will be called my Gitpod Cordova. See over here, I had to actually declare it. Here I don't actually have to declare it. One nice thing about these files is space, lines of space don't matter. The only thing you have to do is when init's done, you don't have the and and. The and and can go at the end. Uh, you might be used to putting it at the start. I don't think it really matters. So I'm making a bunch of directories, then I'm um, uh, working with my log file, uh, installing the Android SDK, same kind of thing. There's the zip file. There I'm throwing it into my Android uh, directory, which I made up there. There I'm removing it. There I'm showing the list to my log file. So the log file will actually have the, the up-to-date SDK manager showing all the different platforms. And here, yes, just uh, answers yes when it says the licenses and it installs these things. You could uh, add tons more things to this line there. I'll make a really big file. Uh, what's this doing? This is exporting the Android SDK and the path and it's then showing the path into my log file. Uh, here we're installing Cordova and QR code. Um, oh, this is the line that actually installs it. Now here I had to install them into different directories. I don't know why, I don't know if I actually had to do that. This is showing the path, it's kind of long, and the double and at the end. Um, this is echoing it into my log file. Uh, bash, this is changing mode for those three bash files. Uh, that creates the uh, Cordova um, file structure. That one rebuilds it once you've changed the HTML stuff. Uh, this is start, same as the other one, starts Apache, we're waiting for port A001. By the way, if you don't give it any ports, it can open tons of ports. I'm not sure if it still can open extra ports if you need it. And then just ending that. So a quick run through the difference between gitpod.yml files and do ooh, that's not the Docker file, Docker files. Um, they both do similar things. Uh, for Gitpod, this one's probably more powerful. For from Docker, this is obviously traditional Docker stuff. A reminder, you can call things from Docker Hub uh, right here and also directly in the, Git, uh, the Gitpod YAML. So this is a new way of working with repositories. This is all in GitHub. And what it creates is something that you can just click on and open up. Let's have a look at what I've opened up. Uh, here's the, the line, uh, there's my preview window, and if I want to, I hit tab there, that creates a file, I'm going to give it those names, and what this is doing is it's taking, well, first of all, it should make the darn thing, and um, so it's making the DDD 
file in the W folder. There's my index.html. What does it say? It basically just says a patch of code. Uh, I've ran this, showed this on another um, uh, video. I do just want to show you how this refreshes, and it's not quite done yet. Gradle's got to load, Gradle's got to compile it. Uh, modern programs, they have a ton of folders CSS, images, JSS. Okay, that's working. So there we go. Ooh, that not show up. It says the build successful, my HTML. Uh, I'm going to open the preview again. Don't know why it didn't show up here, but that's not what I want to do. So, uh, Git pod files, Docker files, they're quite advanced, but they are kind of the heart of uh, Git pod and using them on GitHub. And there we go.